This is AMD's brand new Ryzen 9700X, and with it being their new 8-core CPU at $359, can it beat the 7800X 3D, making it the new gaming champ? That's right, I slipped the price in there, and obviously the leaks were right. AMD is lowering prices for this generation, with the 9600X coming in at $229. And if you're interested in picking one of these up, I will have affiliate links down in the description below. They don't cost you anything more, and it helps the channel out. With all of that said, let's put these two bad boys in a head-to-head -head battle and see who comes out on top. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. When it comes to Andy's next-gen Ryzen 9000 series, the company has been confusing to say the least. Besides the fact that they didn't even reveal pricing to her viewers until a couple days before release, they've also really been confusing about whether the 9700X can beat the ultimate gaming CPU, the 7800X 3D. First, the company's senior technical marketing director, Donnie Walagroski, flat said that the 7000X 3D chips would remain the best on the market. And that wasn't too much of a surprise given the 5800 x 3D remained the top when they released the regular 7000 series. But then during AMD's Tech Day event, they said this. If you were to look at this versus a 7800X 3D, uh, again, an AM5 processor in, um, in the, the Zen 4 generation, you'd see a, a, a couple percentage points <laughs> advantage for the 9700X over the 7800X 3D. So yeah, it almost seems like they don't really know. Luckily, AMD sent a review sample over, and I was able to put these two CPUs to the test. So thanks for that, and of course, that won't affect my opinion. Before I get to some benchmarks, let's go over the CPU itself. The 9700X is an 8-core, 16-thread part, which is why it's the perfect CPU for gaming. All of its cores are on a single chiplet, so you don't have to worry about cross-chiplet latency, which is, of course, a major concern when it comes to gaming. Not to mention the fact that once you get past 8 cores, there's not much of a difference in gaming performance. It's also the same amount of cores as the 7800X 3D, as well as the maximum cores on any X3D chiplet. Of course, the difference is that the 9700X doesn't come with 3D VCAP. Instead, it's built on AMD's new Zen 5 architecture and comes with a base clock of 3.8 GHz and a boost of 5.5, as well as 32 MB of L3 cache and a TDP of 65 watts. On paper, it really doesn't seem all that impressive, but when we put it against the 7800X 3D, it can definitely hold its own. For starters, when it comes to more professional workloads, the 9700X handily beats out the 7800X 3D. In Cinebench, it's much faster in multi-core, but obliterates it in single core. Now, I will say that 7-zip compression and decompression was really close. I know that compression can be helped by 3D vCache, but this one was a surprise. But of course, the main thing here is going to be gaming, and this is where things get a little complicated. So as you can see, in most games, the two CPUs are extremely close. We're talking just a few FPS difference, even when at 200 to 300 FPS. Usually the 7800X 3D pulls out ahead, but it can actually win. Whether that's without Precision Boost Overdrive or with it, you can see the 9700X can come out on top. But there are quite a few games where the 7800X 3D comes out on top, and by quite a bit in Tomb Raider and Cyberpunk 2077. And this got me thinking, how can the 9700X win, or at least be neck and neck in some games, but then get stomped in others? And really, I think it comes down to the fact that both CPUs are relying on different things to help with gaming performance. The X3D part is really just a 7700X with a ton more cache, so it relies on that cache to access in-game elements faster faster than getting it from memory. But the 9700X is relying on faster clocks and its IPC increase from Zen 5. So some games will likely benefit from the 9700X's approach more and some will prefer the extra cache. But overall, the 7800X 3D tends to come out on top, though it'll likely depend on what games you play. With that said, if you plan on playing more taxing games or at least play them at 1440p, the 9700X is likely your better play because the performance difference in games basically disappears thanks to the GPU becoming the bottleneck. And then you have the better multi-core and single-core performance from the 9700X. 7700X. Plus, as of the making of this video, it's actually cheaper than the 7800X 3D. Ultimately though, the 7800X 3D looks to be the winner overall in games. So while that does it for today, are you planning to pick up one of AMD's new Ryzen 9700X? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, 
Have a great day.